woman from Florida, Ms. Cheerfulis McCormick for five minutes. Madam Speaker, I rise to address the House for five minutes and revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. This week, I hosted a seniors town hall in my district in which many had concerns about their access to long-term care, the price of prescription drugs, and their social security benefits. Every day, 10,000 Americans turn 65 year years old. That's 65 years of raising families, paying their taxes, protecting our country, and building our communities. After six decades of working hard for this country, they have the right to the benefits and resources they have earned for retirement. We do not need to cut benefits, but instead expand access to full range of long-term care services that help seniors within their communities. Unfortunately, it has become far too expensive for middle-class friends and families to care for our seniors. Prescription drugs, drug prices are a major component of the overall cost of caring for the elderly. While Medicare Part D pays for some medications for those enrolled in, plan, in the plan, it is reported that over 65% of, of our seniors' prescription drugs costs are out of pocket. No American should ever have to break the bank to pay for life-saving care. But today, too many Americans are forced to make the decision between paying their bills or buying their pills. Democrats have been fighting to bring down health care costs and lower prescription drug prices by holding insurance companies and drug companies accountable and strengthening the Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. In his State of the Union address, President Biden announced an initiative to improve quality long-term care for our nation's beloved seniors and people with disabilities. The announcement, the announcement uplifts what I've long championed. Every person in the United States deserves to age with dignity, respect, and access to quality health care. These actions will be part of a long overdue comprehensive reform to protect the welfare, safety, and rights of seniors and people with disabilities living in nursing homes. Our country and our economy are stronger and healthier when every American has access to quality, affordable health care, and long-term care. I look forward to working with my colleagues to make sure these issues are addressed and that we support and look out for our nation's seniors. I yield back the balance of my time.